Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome to Daily Tech Bites with Dhananjay episode number 7 where we are going to discuss the tech news which are going around in the world. So before further delay, let's get started. So first news jo hai wo life water one phone ke baare mein hai, sort of related to Jio hai as I said earlier too. And ye phone jo hai wo explode ho gaya tha while the user was using some normal applications on his phone which is a sad thing but there is no comment by Reliance or by Life that phone ko aisa kyu hua ya fir wo log replacement denge ya nahi denge so if the user had used any third party chargers to charge the phone then mujhe to lagta hai ki most probably kuch Reliance ya fir Life kar nahi sakta kyunki if you have any smartphone most probably you have then make sure that you use the charger which was provided in the box or use any branded chargers such as Anchor chargers or Oki chargers which are Qualcomm certified otherwise uh, you may face a problem in future do not use any type of cheap chargers do not try to save your money while buying chargers you will have to spend hefty in order to get a good quality charger and even if you use the Qualcomm certified chargers and your phone explodes then that company is not going to cover that into warranty because you did not use the stock charger which was provided in the box and there are a couple of news regarding the Pixel XL that there are multiple leaks that shows that Pixel XL is going to have Snapdragon 820 processor and 4 GB of RAM and it is not going to have Snapdragon 821 which is the latest one and it's not the official news so it may launch with Snapdragon 821 too who knows and there was one more news regarding the camera sensor on the Pixel XL that it is going to have IMX 378 sensor which is made by Sony Nexus 6P and Nexus 5X had the IMX 377 camera sensor so most probably with the 378 the only upgrade that we are going to see is the OIS sensor and everything else is going to remain as good as Nexus 6P but I would have loved to see a camera like a little bit better than 6P but 6 piece camera was not bad at all so I don't have anything to complain over here and Motorola ka naya phone leak ho gaya jiska naam hai Motorola M is mein most probably 5.5 inch ki 1080p display ho gai 3000 image ki battery ho gai and iska jo fingerprint sensor hai wo rare side pe ho ga matlab back side pe ho ga and front side pe nahi ho ga kyunki front side pe Motorola ne decide kiya ya phir Lino ne Motorola ko bola hai ki front side mein apna logo laga dena to Motorola ne Moto ka logo front side mein laga diya I guess having a fingerprint sensor in the front is better position as compared to rare fingerprint sensor what do you think let me know about that in the poll over here and after this galaxy note 7 ke baare mein news hai and galaxy note 7 jo aapko pata hi hoga ki explode ho raha tha baut logo ka explode ho raha to samsung ne kya kya pure world ke jitne bhi shipment hoya thai saare la britain le li hai and ye jo issue hai exynos processor pe most probably nahi hai aisa log bol raha hai but I don't know anything about it but in the Chinese market Samsung has started to sell a phone so that the variant that you are going to sell in China is good and fail proof there will be a blast if you are charging I hope that's true otherwise oh my god if you have a Meizu phone then a good news for you that Flyme 6 is going to be launched on September 13 along with the Meizu Pro 7 I have not tested any Meizu device personally I have used a bunch of devices by Meizu but I did not use it personally so I can't really comment much about the company over here and Sony has started crowdfunding for a smartwatch which will be very sleek and not only this but it will be also having the e-paper display which is a good thing but the bad point is that it will have black and white colors only on the watch but I don't care about that because the battery life with that smartwatch is going to be very good I guess so and uh, they are mentioning slick so I hope that the battery life doesn't decrease to two days because I personally need a smartwatch which will last me for 60 days maybe and after that I have to charge that watch but that's not out there yet we have multiple smart bands but I need a smart watch which will display time and date everything like that so this was pretty much it for the daily tech bites with Dhananjay episode number 7 and now let's talk about our daily tech deal so we have a pretty cheap deal today and only 6 hours are remaining to claim this deal I have personally used this mouse and it's amazing for the price of 249 rupees obviously it's not a gaming mouse or something like that but for 249 rupees I would any day buy this mouse and as you can see the ratings are also pretty good we have another Logitech keyboard on sale so this is the Bluetooth keyboard and the price of this keyboard is 1899 rupees currently. I bought this keyboard few days back for around 2000 rupees. So it's a pretty good deal and if you need a Bluetooth keyboard, you should go ahead and buy it. So yeah, this is it for this video guys and there is a debate going on in the comment section below that should I do the daily tech bites in Hindi or should I do it in English? Whenever I'm doing it in Hindi, half of the part or 40% of the part, I speak it in English I guess so you should be able to understand the news but just in case if you don't let me know about that in the comment section below or add your vote in the poll and let me know what do you think 
in which language should I make it? Hindi or English? So don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because ऐसे बहुत सारे amazing videos जल्द ही channel पे आने वाले हैं और ये तो daily daily basis पे आते हैं daily tech news so subscribe करना मत भूलिएगा so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching.